Hey, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Jermaine Morgan TV. Today I want to show you how the pros use the major seven and the minor six chords. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so welcome back. So if you've been around in your month, remember, you know we've been talking about using the minor chords and leading in with the minor chords. And this week I told you I want to talk about using the major chords. Now today I want to show you how a lot of the pros use the major seven chord and the minor six chord, kind of use them and blend them together. It's going to blow your mind because it's going to, not because it's something you never heard before, but it's something that you actually hear all the time. You wonder, man, what are they doing? And I'm going to show you how simple it is. So I'm going to show you the simple progression in the key of A. You've heard this progression many times before, but you may not have known what chord this was. And so here it is. As you can hear, it's a really beautiful sound. But all it is is we're playing that major, once we get down to that D, the four, we play that major seven, D major seven, so we have that root, the seven, and the major third. And then we resolve it to that uh, minor six chord. So we have a D minor six chord. You add that uh, ma a minor third in there with that uh, six. Okay, so again, start out with that major seven, D major seven, and then we resolve it to a D minor six chord. And that's what gives you that sound. It's very simple. So now a lot of people like to slide into that. Now you can slide into it like, you know, a whole step away and slide all the way up half steps. Almost how you do double stops. You can do it that way. So again, from the top. And it's up to you how you want to finger it. I can do it this way. Catch it with my ring finger. Or I can play it this way. And put my pointer finger there pinky finger or ring finger there's a number of ways you can play whatever's more comfortable for you remember I said all the time it's what's more comfortable for you I'm sure there's a technical right way or wrong way to do it but hey it's totally on you and what feels more comfortable for you because what often happens for me uh, sometimes in in the middle of the moment I grab the most comfortable fingering for me in, at, the, at the moment and here it's natural for me to just slide over since I'm already here with my middle finger, my ring finger, and my pinky on the major seven chord. So it's natural for me to just move the pinky over and drop the pointer finger down. Okay? But if I do it and I slide into it, it might be more natural for me. I got long fingers, but it might be more natural for me to throw that ring finger up there. So if I slide into it, you may see my ring finger jump up there. So that's why I say whatever's comfortable for you at the time. I'm not thinking about that in the middle of the song. I'm not trying to think about, okay, this is the correct fingering. Although, if you're playing more of a, a better technique, it might help you when it comes to speed and playing it fast. For me, again, in the moment, that's not what I'm thinking about. I'm just playing it and trying to make sure that everything is very clean and I'm getting across the idea that I really want to get across. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And listen, if you enjoyed the content, click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on my notifications so you can be notified each week once I post a new video. I really appreciate you guys being here and check it out. If you want more content like this and if you want to get even more in depth on the bass lessons remember to head over to jermainemorgan.net there i have many more bass lessons i talk a little bit more in depth on some of these subjects that we've covered here on youtube and i also have music most of you don't know 
but I am an artist as well, so I do have music available there. If you want to hear me really play, <laughs> I have music there, so check it out, and I will see you guys on next week. Thank you. I'm out of here.